Live on location, Shot Town, Shot Town, Shot Town. We in the building. I got the blackest one. And today we got a special guest. Did we take the red or green pill? Oh, the matrix. The matrix <laughs> in the building. All the fame. Yes, sir. My dog. Yeah. Goes to the matrix, baby. <laughs> Who's the first person when you got to the league to bust your ass? <laughs> so, yeah. so direct and straight to the point. I like, it, I like it, you know. Right off the break. You know what? I can honestly say, not one person. I actually really bust my ass. You know, I, I was a. If you know me, you know anything about me. And you play me, you can uh, test to this. I Man, I'm a competitor, dude. Yeah. Like you ain't just for sit there and go at me and, and think you go. I'm just gonna sit there and just take it. Yeah. But. But for the most part, though, I can tell you this. You know, I came in in 99, and uh, we had so many talented players in the league. They always tell you certain guys, they got these certain moves. You know what yeah. they're doing scouting So, like, uh, one of my early games was against uh, Smitty, Steve Smith. You know, Smitty has the hezzy. And he's like, the, don't the go the for Smitty. it. Yeah. Don't go. He, go he, all, he gets every young guy, every player, and some older guys still currently. And yeah. at the time, you know, he was still, he was in his prime then. Yeah. So I was like, do not go for the, the, the yeah, Smitty. Yeah. Got me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was okay. All you know, us. He got all us too. Hey, you know, he got me. Smitty he got was so me. smooth with it. Yeah, too, he boy. was. He was just, it was just like, he was just mm, calm. And then he go. He go. And um, Mookie Baylock. Look. Like I wanted, he got me in them hands, man. Like, dude, like I, he might have had the best hands I've ever seen throughout my whole career, Mookie you know. And I, I played with some guys that had some great hands you and know, let the league and Mookie love now, cause last time we brought up Mookie, you had something to say to me. No, I love Mookie. Oh, okay. oh. Like Mookie played like that dude. Listen, right? I know that, but I'm saying when I was talking about no, you was, brag, <laughs> you was bragging about dunking on Mookie Blaylock, and that's that's not right. like a, a point for you. That's yeah, a point. Right, let me show you why it's not bragging. It's not bragging. We were speaking specifically about. The first person you dunked on in the league. It is who it is. Yeah, I can't yeah, make it somebody different if it's somebody. Nah, but the if that was, yeah. was off the post. Nah, I was down the lane, little okay. two hand. No, okay. the, the joy in your voice as you saying it was like <laughs> that was an accomplishment or something. Like, first of all, first, no first of all, first of all, dunked on Mookie Blaylock. So look, so look, so first of all. <laughs> Since you want to talk noise, I got the picture in my phone from when I dunked on Sean Bradley. I dunked on seven six poop fools too. What you talking about? Okay. And I called Zoe. Okay. You know what I do. <laughs> I don't, we don't even gotta speak. Who's the first person you dunked on? Who's the, the first body you, you, you remember? Who who I body first? Cause you got bodies. Uh, man, man, you know, I really don't know. That's a hell of a question. <laughs> Who's your like, favorite dunk first on? body? You, my, my, you know what, mean? man? You know my first my first like guy that they really just probably just escalated above beyond me is when I dunked on Al. That was my guy. You know, I ain't wanna, I ain't wanna put my man out there, but I got Al, and they <laughs> boom. <made it. laughs> yeah, that's my guy. You know, Al Harrington. Yeah, that's my guy. But like, uh, that's our brother. Yeah, that's my man. That's yeah. my man. I was with him last night a little bit. But uh, yeah, you know, it's uh, it's interesting because you sit back there and you look at the relationships you build, and he was one of the first guys uh, I actually uh, got to hang with in Pete Newell Big Man Camp. Yeah. In Ho on Hawaii, dude. Like way back. So yeah, y'all ain't get yeah. a chance to experience that. So that was a camp that they used to send all like kind of big man, small forwards, whatever. Yeah, I, remember that. I remember that. Go out there get footwork with Kiki and Pete yeah, and all that yeah, stuff. I Man, it was awesome. And um, we had a great time out there. I'm gonna tell y'all this because it's it's a it's a story that never really came out. This yeah. is this was really good. So we out there. This was my first episode of Ridden Scooters. You know, we used to <laughs> wilding out. So. I'm a real poor guy, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I ain't never have any money. I never got a chance to ride. I, mean, I used to try to ride some of my friends who had some scooters and stuff yeah. when they was young, but I never got a chance to do it. So right. I'm like, fuck, let's ride one. Yeah. Rented one, wrecked that thing. <laughs> <laughs> hold on, hold on, that ain't the half part of it. The half part of it, I tore my ankle up. Mm. So look, I, I mean, I'm walking, I'm limping, I'm hurting bad as hell. Guess what though? I still finished the camp. They mm. ain't the don't don't ever know. Nobody. Didn't tell nobody. nobody. Only person I don't know because he was with me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so he was there. That's like crazy. tow it up. That, that damn thing cost me two hundred dollars. Uh, I mean, hundred dollars to rent or whatever. It cost me like two thousand dollars to fix it. Though. Like <laughs> it wasn't even worth that. Right. But like, but like, yeah, though. So like, that was one of the secrets, though. Like, uh, I was like, I just I just thought about it because it's just reminiscing on that. Uh, this whole little dunk thing, whatever. But like, that's the history. Sometimes yeah. people don't know what happened behind the scenes. Before, before you really step on that front, the NBA court, yeah, right up. You went to Clarksville, <coughs> high school, yeah, high school. Mm -hmm. How was that? 
it was awesome. It was awesome. It was interesting because, you know, I'm from North Chicago. So, because yeah. I didn't leave here until I was, uh, when we moved down, like I was 13, 13, mm-hmm. 13. And now I had that little ascent down south and stuff. But I was still coming back here, going from Chicago Heights to West Side to, to everywhere, you know what I'm saying? North Chicago. And then uh, when I got to college, though, I, I was here every summer playing in the summer league. The summer league. I had guys that was in the same, same circle and stuff. And then, Tawan actually was one of the first to kind of cuff me yeah. a little bit, you know what I'm saying, make sure that, uh, though he, you know what I'm saying, make sure I did what I need to do. And, uh, you know, he actually, I, I, I'm, I, I think I, I don't never we really, really talked about this, but he actually one of the first guys actually, like when I say, made me more hungry to, 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 to make sure I make it to the pros than anything because being around him, I ain't gonna never forget this. I'll never forget this. I had a, a little Park Avenue, little, hey, 86 Park Avenue bullshit car. <laughs> it, it got me from A to B though. That's my, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, my yeah, guy. We call them A to B. Listen, it got me to A to B. You know what I'm saying? I was going to, I was driving from North Chicago, going all the way over to the west side of LeClaire to play ball. LeClaire course, they ain't even there now no more. They right. tore them down. They yeah. ain't there now. I, I pull up. You got a Ferrari out there. You got a Porsche. You got a Lamborghini. You got a Benz. I'm like, oh they shit. Like everybody in there. So I walk in the gym, you know, it's, it's Tuan, it's Jawan Howard, Michael Finley. Tim Hardaway, you know, and uh, they in there getting after it. You know, I go in there and I'm I'm in there, a little young kid, you know what I'm saying, from the suburbs, North Chicago, and uh, wet behind the ears and excited. Yeah. But I'm hungry though. Yeah. Go in there, work. 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 <laughs> Everybody's like, oh yeah, he ready. He re- Work, killed him, you know what I'm saying? So like, it would just open so many doors in different different ways. But but being around Tuan, off, off side of the court, like, it was, a, it was a holiday weekend coming up or something. This is so crazy. You know how you do it. So, Epic. So we actually uh, leave there. We had to go shop. They had to go shopping. So I had to, I had to tackle along with him. So I'm riding with him, and then he going to get his, his gear for the weekend. Or right, him, Mike. Uh, it's him and Mike. They were the tip for tat at the time. So I'm like, where are we going? We go off south to the twin shop, and we rotate in location. So they go out, and they lay out. The whole outfits, two outfits a day for the for the whole weekend. It, it might have been three, two or three, but like I was sitting there, I'm like, damn, dude, you, just, you really go there for every weekend they trip they went on to. They went and bought a, a outfit for day and night, two outfits wow. a day. Just when they laid it out, they bought all <laughs> brand new outfits. Then we go to the mall, buy all new drawers and socks, you know, and shoes and everything. So I was with them, and I and it wasn't so it was it wasn't to the point that I'm watching him spend his money and getting the stuff yeah. shopping. It was the point of like being able to. Yeah. You know, having them mentality, yeah, you're the able to do it. Yeah. But, so like, that's what created this, this song. Create just that. be able to go out and do and get the things you want and work hard for it. That's what like, it, it created that that real, real strong appetite for me. Then I, I promise you, I kid you not, I think I was on a mission. I was on a mission after that. You, could, you wouldn't stop me from getting to what I want. Why you choose a, a JUCO to go to? So right. I went to junior college in Vincennes because I, I was a one point short of uh, going to college on the ACT. I didn't take the SAT. Oh, so I missed it by one point. But I could have, I would have, if I took it again, I would. I only took let, it once. Let, let, yeah. me, let me just say this about them standardized tests. Yeah. <laughs> this is how hilarious Culturally it. biased, dude. Bro, yeah. I, I, Straight up. <laughs> this is my whole take on yeah. it. It's like, I took the test, so my coach in high school, George Stan, he had us all, he knew that, you know, sometimes kids just struggle with yeah, the whole yeah. structure of taking the test. Like mm-hmm. you get in there and just freeze up from never being in that scenario. So he was like, we gonna have y'all we were sophomores, yeah. yeah, let's take the test of sophomores, right? I get in there, Cordell over there, D Gates over there, I'm in there like, man, we about to be in here three, four hours, however long it is, I was like, man, I looked at the pamphlet, literally just went through the whole thing, just, you know, filling in, uh-huh. whatever, whatever. Whatever, I don't know how long it takes, whatever, I remember I'm at the crib one day, they ain't coming to mail, <laughs> 18. I'm never taking it again. <laughs> Do you understand me? As a sophomore, pass that joint with an 18. Smooth sailing. Yeah. I got to have a 2.5 the rest yeah. of the way. And I was I was a three. I had three because when I came from Brother Rice, I was, you know, yeah, yeah, all yeah. boys who wanted nothing to do but work. Yeah. yeah. Man, I was like, never taking that test again. All that yeah. stuff, like, and that, I didn't even do it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't get that. You was motivated at oh. Juco. Yeah, I like, mean, like to get you to know, a, like a big college or something like. You know, I. Um, but Vincennes was like a, a yeah, powerhouse yeah, though. That yeah. was like one of the top uh, junior college in the, uh, programs ever. So I, yeah. I visited like uh, one, two or three junior colleges though. Mm-hmm. And, uh, before I decided, because one of the things I, I didn't want to do, because I, I knew one of my friends at the time, he was going, he he was going to take the test again. He was, but you couldn't take it to the fall, so he's going to miss that first right. semester of school. So I was like, man, uh, I wanted to continue, because if I know if I if I if I don't uh, if I sit this out. 
and I, I probably won't motivate there's so much shit going on. Yeah. you know what I'm saying like you know yeah. I, you know being in the, uh you yeah, know in, in the jets man you know I, I'm sitting there like man my mama we all struggling dude I'm like I'm sitting there like man I, if I if I don't get out of here now I ain't gonna go yeah. like the moment you procrastinate that stuff you know the, the mentality of us in this hood it's man you, you're gonna be there you're gonna be in that grind get so so I just decided like you know what I'm getting the hell out of here I went to summer school immediately yeah. like when school was I was like I'm going to summer school I'm coming I decided to go to Vincennes because it was it was in between here and um in and, and, uh Tennessee and Clarksville at the time. So it's only it was a uh, midway point. It's three hours from both houses, from both cribs. So like I'm like, okay, let's make this happen. And uh, I went up there, they took they, they welcomed me in, they was like, Man, you're gonna be the man. This is it's gonna it's gonna be you. I went up there and uh, like I was focused. I went to school all summer Kill. and and got got ahead on my grades and everything and uh, you know, I ended up a lot of people don't even know is I was academic all American in junior college. So Straight like I went up. in there, I was focused though, and I became you know what I'm saying uh, I went out there put numbers up and just giving people work and uh, doing it. I was like I'm gonna do this two years and then I'm, and I wanted to experience the division one. That's yeah. why I went to UNLV after. I could came out. Of That's what I was saying. You chose. I could came out. Yeah. You chose UNLV like. What made you choose you? When we get the hell out of the code, yeah. <laughs> I was tired of could being the code. Been, could it have been anybody else? Yeah, any yeah. Other, yeah. I mean, so look, this is interesting. This is this is so people. A lot of people don't know this. So <laughs> when I was coming out of JUCO, it was only one person from Vincennes that ever went to North Carolina. That's the school I wanted to go to. Bob um, McAdoo. And where you go to junior college at? Vincennes. Vincennes the so, legend. So that that year, <laughs> North Carolina <laughs> had a scholarship available. Yeah. And I will. And Dean Smith called called Coach Sparks at the time. It was like, look, we know you want to come here. If you want to come, you gonna have a scholarship available. I was like, it's gonna be it's gonna be yours. And they was like, I was like, for real? I was like, yeah. So throughout that whole transition phase, he up and retired. I remember that was his last year. Mm. So he he retired that last year, and I was like, oh, you ain't there. I ain't coming. <laughs> and I was like, I'm gonna take. My, I was like, I'm, I'm like, man, you know what? I had a lot of. I could have went to Indiana, you know, what I'm saying because yeah. it was right up the road from Vincennes right, right, as yeah. well, you know. But you know, Bob Knight, you know, saying kind of kind of aggressive with it. You know, <laughs> you're really aggressive with it. You know, he go he go cuss your ass out as soon as you walk in the door. Like, get your shit together. Like, oh, whatever, you know, he ain't no telling what he would say. I was like, you know, he was cool, but nah, I'm, I'm gonna yeah. go somewhere else. But I wanted to get out of that cold. Being, having a couple of little injuries in college and having to be in that cold weather, being this cold weather, doing it, walking around in the, yeah. in the, was in the it, cast, nah. Was it, was it, after no, it was okay. So it was between your year going from Vincennes to UNLV that you was at the USA tryouts. Yes, yes. And yes. I see he was on. He yes. was, so he was trying out for the senior team. Yeah, yeah. With like it was like Elton and all. Like yeah, stuff, yeah. Right? So I'm on the junior team doing the tryouts. We practicing stuff. in the same gym. Exactly. Nigga. He was like the. Not unknown, but it was like you know the big all American names the big out names, there. Yeah. So so then we every- sitting there. I'm like. This dude right here, <laughs> out here, like, oh, listen, listen. So, look, this is interesting. You say that because it making me we play this now. In Colorado so, like, Springs, we all we all in the same gym because they on one side of the court, we yeah. on one side of the court, we balling, and then everybody was like, oh shit, who, who, who is that? Because oh, he that? wasn't known. Listen, because like, I was coming yeah. from, I was only one there from junior college. Yeah, everybody was from all Division One schools. Big only boy, one. All of the, everybody all from all school. Division One yeah. school. Yeah, so. All, so it came down to like really, it's coming down to me and, and Quincy. I think Quincy Lewis, yeah, coach, who's the coach Minnesota. of the USA? Yeah, who's the coach of the team? His coach was yeah. Quinn So I'm like, they was like, I'm like, really? You tell me, I'm not gonna make a team because you know you got you got that to was the coach. What we all really? Saw. When we like, saw he it. didn't make the team, yeah. I was like, yo, yeah, we literally practiced <laughs> the same time. He was out there more than anybody. Like we was all like, wait. <laughs> Who is he? <laughs> like he out here, like for real, like because you know you had Killing. all the big names, oh, all Americans, and it was working like, on it, <laughs> working on. So I never forget that. So we, uh, so you know, I used to work the Jordan camp too, and yeah. Elmhurst mm-hmm. on the West Side. So in junior college, I did this one when I was in junior college. So like he had me come up there and do all this stuff. So I'm doing all this stuff and and, and doing the process of not being in a Division One. So I'm yeah. the only one because they only invite Division One players. Yeah. I'm the only junior college player there. Yeah. So like that's that was the love and the connection from Chicago. So like it was like. Come on over here, work the camp and all that stuff. So, so one, I'm at uh, my last year. I'm at the camp with Jason Terry and uh, exactly. all the guys, mostly from U of A there, and and yeah. some other guys, a lot of the guys there. So we, they, somebody just sent me footage of the game we was playing because Jordan always played with us yeah. at the mm-hmm. end during during his camp. Yeah. So we out there giving them work. You know, I'm giving them work. They like Matrix. I was like, I wasn't Matrix then, but Sean Marion out there giving them work. So like. 
And it's like, damn, where are you going? Like, where are you going? Jet and I'm like, man, we got to get you to U of A. I'm calling Co- Lou right now. We got to get you over here. And I was like, dang, I was like, I ain't got no scholarship available. So yeah, yeah. I, ain't, I ain't coming right. over there. It was like, man, you come over, what else? We're going to win a championship. <laughs> <laughs> it was like, he was recruiting me already. And it's funny because Jet actually recruited me. He was a big part of I mean, him and Jason Kidd, of course, all, and uh, Dirk all recruited me to come to Dallas. Yeah. So, but like, that's how it worked though. Like, he was trying to get me to come to U of A. And I was like, Man, like I'm gonna go ahead and go, you know, V, man. I'm gonna get this warm weather, but y'all, y'all ain't got no scholarships available. Yeah. So, but like, yeah, it was funny though. We was out there working them, working them. Had, had you ever been to Vegas before? Before you went there? No, no. I wanted to get out of the hot, the cold weather though. Being, man, you know, being in this Midwest though, that, this hawk right here ain't nothing nice, no, man. Like I was no like, I'm no. tired of it. They know, <laughs> they know. <laughs> you, you killed JUCO, you killed college. What made you go out, like? It became a time uh, I, I felt like I was I was ready, you know. Um, I think uh, I wanted I wanted I went to UNLV because I wanted to experience it. You know, what I'm saying that was one thing I, I really truly wanted. I don't think you could put a price on going to college and getting that experience, and that atmosphere, and that, and that whole culture, and that whole environment. So, I really wanted to take that next step and do that. But it got to a point where I felt like I did I did enough in college and was ready. Yeah. But it, the sad part about it is, y'all know when you when you getting ready to come out, like a lot of coaches don't never tell the, the players the truth. Yeah. They never tell you the hundred percent truth. They they be like, okay, you gonna they they, go, they they try to lie to you, get you to stay back then. Yeah. You know now they like get your ass out of there. You, you know what I'm saying? Got somebody now, else. Yeah, coming. we got somebody coming already. But back then they wanted you they when they gave long. you that four. Yeah, they wanted you that two, three years or whatever four years they they signed you for. You know, and and in this day, you know, I I I um I I don't hold nothing against them, Coach Bano, because we we cool now, we good friends and stuff. But when I was when I was coming out though, he told me I was uh, late first round, early second. I was like, really? <laughs> really? I was, like, I was like, really? I'm like, okay. I mean, but man, I, I only can go by you know what I'm saying because at the time, I only can go by your your access, yeah. my access to my coach, and then yeah. you no, know, I had other other outlets and other sources of context, and I I did my due diligence and did my work, and then they was like, you can go as high as one, but the only reason you can't go as high as one. Doing doing the logistics because I'm at the UNLV, and we play we play at midnight on the Eastern Conference, and it's too late for a lot of people to see you, so a lot of people don't see you. So it's like hard because at that year Chicago had the number one pick, so it'd be hard for them not to to pick somebody from Duke or North Carolina because they're right. on TV all the time yeah. on prime time TV, and we're not. They get but but the people who knew 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 who I was. But he was like, you can go as high as one. I'm not guarantee you're gonna go one, but you can go as high as one. That was the that was my resources and context, but he was like, "You ain't gonna fall out of that out of twelve or or eleven. It was thirteen lottery picks, but you ain't gonna go past ten or eleven because it was a couple teams that wasn't. But you ain't gonna fall out of lottery. I know that for they was like, "You lottery, you ain't gonna fall out of 13. So it was just a matter of where I went and I um and where I locked in and where I wanted to go to. Where you thought you were gonna go? You um, think, you think this, did you think somebody else was gonna get you and stuff? I had a point. I, I possibly thought you know. So I think I thought Washington possibly. Yeah. Cause they was they was in front of me, but I knew I wasn't going past Phoenix though. Phoenix was my best workout, and that I killed because I, I had all the top did, guys there. Did you do a lot of workouts? So I did, did I did a lot of work, but I made sure. So these guys now are are, are, are running away from workouts. Trust workouts, me, that's like, how they're they're scared. Yeah, come they yeah, be like, oh, what's the name going to be? No, no, I don't want to say. I I had everybody in my workout, every top player in my workout. No, I'm coming to eat. Yeah, man, listen. I had agents. People agents used to be trying to come my way. Yeah. Oh no, nah, nah. we not now. Nah. Yeah. Only scary. person, only person, only small four that wasn't in my workout. I didn't, I didn't get a chance to work out with, with Lo. Lo was, uh, it was just like, yeah, I want, I wanted Lo to go to my workout too. Cause you know, you want to play against everybody. Mm, the best. The top. So, Lo and Wally were the only two guys that wasn't in my workout. Those were, small see, work. they was the golden child. Yeah. They was yeah. already going. Well, be Wally, like, you know what Wally did for his workout? Though? I remember this like yesterday. He worked out over here at. Um, uh, we we play over here sometimes over here off of the Gold Coast. Uh, uh, no, no, right here on um, I'm sure the college. Uh, oh, you talking about Moody Bible? Moody Bible, Moody Bible. Yeah, Moody Bible. We play over here sometimes still right now. But we he went over there. I said he went in there literally did his shots. No, yeah, took his shirt off <laughs> and, and shot all jumpers. Yeah, and that was that was that it. was it. Wow, that was you know, his like, workout. It was his own, it was his, his own, own dude. Like, yep. Y'all can come see me. Yep. And this yep. yep. y'all get to Wally see. Uh, I was that's like, what, that's, that's, like, that's, man, that's like, kudos. Like, I gotta give him kudos. Wally it, world, it worked. Man. It worked. You the boss. Yeah, you do. You it start saying, "I'm gonna just do a meeting. I'll talk with you guys." Like, yeah, 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 it worked, man. You know, and I was like, you know, I got, I gotta give him kudos for it. But like, seriously, other than that, everybody else that was considered the top small four, oh, he was in my workout in Phoenix. So, yeah, eight. You was good in Phoenix. I left full. <laughs> I left full. 
They left. They left. Well, they left uh, with enough with two with two camel humps on them. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> they, ain't, they still they still eating off of it right now. <laughs> Phoenix, uh, warm weather. You know, beautiful place. I love Phoenix. Like all year round, it's it's nice. And you in Phoenix and you're trying to make your mark in Phoenix. How was Phoenix for you? Phoenix was awesome, man. You know, I I, I get there. I got backcourt two thousand. J Kid right. at Penny Hardaway. Sure. Come Crazy. on now, come on. I got Cliff Robinson, Luke Longley, yeah. Dan Marley, uh, Toby Bailey on the Toby team, Bailey. Rennie Livingston. <laughs> uh, man, I can I can keep going down, but yeah. like Tom Guliata, man. You know, I had man, I had some OGs. Oliver Miller, I had some. I was the only rookie on the team, man. I yeah. had some OGs on the team, and like they didn't make it easy for me, but mm-hmm. they made me hungry though. One of the best things I could I could tell you doing training camp, you know the rookie hazing and stuff. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we in Flagstaff for training camp. You know we, you know, yeah, you remember Flagstaff, Flagstaff but it was a little different when we was doing. But like, right. well, early in my career, so like, uh, my first year at training camp. So we get there, we in Flagstaff, and um, uh, Cliff, Cliff, Uncle Cliff, man, he uh, this one, you know, no, this is exactly how it went down. He was like, Rook, give me some uh, some, give me some fucking, what my fucking donuts at, some shit like that. I was like, look. Uh, Cliff, I respect you and anything, but you gonna talk to me like I'm grown ass man. I'm a grown ass man. You ain't gonna talk to me like that. Yeah. Guess what though? He ain't say shit to me though the whole time. I ain't no rookie hazing here nowhere. Nobody uh, say nothing to me. So you got past that? Yeah, <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing. I was like, you ain't gonna talk to me like that. Listen, I don't mind giving you some donuts, but you ain't gonna talk to me like I'm a grown ass man. And that, that was it. And that's my man. I love it though. You start off with J Kid. What did? Cause. You play like me, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like, like I, I love how your game is. You, a good point guard is mm-hmm. what you love. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? To play with a point guard like J. Kidd coming straight in the door, like how was that? You know, you know, J. Kidd is is one of the most. Uh, what can I say? I mean, he's the ultimate competitor, though. Like he he uh, he takes the challenge. He he sizes people up and does things out there on the floor that you know you you wouldn't think he would do at the point guard position. You know, walking triple double, and uh, one. One of the things he told me though, like early in my career, uh, always play hard, young fella. Leave it on the floor, and also like you know, if you get the ball, go. Don't wait for me. Like he didn't, he didn't, he don't want you to. He don't want to have the ball the whole time. He wants you to go out there and, and do your and play to your strengths and do your assets. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And build you like, but and like out of one of the, a lot a lot of guys I played with, he especially at that time in my career, like you know, he he's one of those guys that can come to you and be like, you know, you I need you to do this for me, step it up a little bit, no, step up a little bit more here and there or whatever, vice versa, or I can go to him and do that, you know. Yeah. And that was a relationship we had, and me being so young, like having all these veterans around me, man, dude, I'm just taking it in, man. I'm learning. You know, one of the things I did, and I I commend my, I, and I don't know why these young guys in this new generation don't do it. Like all the old guys, I went to every OG player on my house team. Yeah. Everybody house, yeah. not one, all of them. Yeah. I was like, man, I want to learn how to be a pro, dude. Like a lot of guys don't understand this. It's easy to get to the NBA now. Yeah. It's easier it is now than ever. Boy. It's yeah. way easier to get to the NBA now. Now it's hard to be a pro though. Like yeah. that's the thing. How do you learn how to be a pro? You don't know how to be a pro, man. Like it's a lot of guys, NBA players, man. Ain't no, ain't a lot of pros out there. It's Real different. Talk. It's a different mentality when it comes to that. And different focus and different. You know, saying different drive. Yeah. And that's the. That's the part of the game that you know, saying that fueled me, man. You know, I as much as I I worked hard, as much as we did all our, all the workouts on the court and stuff. How hard are you working off make to make sure that you're doing the right things off the court when you step out of there? You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying you gotta be, you know what I'm saying, right. straight yeah. up yeah. and like no, but it's a it's a line you follow when when somebody when you got appearance, you make your appearance on time. When when practice, we ain't got weight on you. Don't be late. Be on time. You know what I'm saying? Up. Don't make it all about you. Don't make don't make it seem like your time is more valuable than somebody else's. Yeah, you know, team. when somebody texts you, call them back. You know what I'm saying? Be professional. Yeah. Like little stuff like that it goes a long right. way. Like dude, like I mean, it's yeah. like. It's like this. Some people get this mentality and get this attitude that, like, you know, what I'm saying we you bigger and better than everybody. No, you're not. Guess uh-huh. what? We all pull our pants on one leg at a time. One Guess what? You know what I'm saying? We're going out to eat. Let's go, yeah. out, go out to eat together. Yeah. Let's, let's get that bond. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was that was some of the things that we did. That yeah. That yeah. I mean, like, I really truly miss. And I tried to take it to everywhere I went. It yeah. was it I, wasn't it wasn't always a successful. It, work on every time. it wasn't ever successful. We talk about it because he don't we talk about it all the time. Like when yeah. we, you know, we came in with the Clippers and we was legit like a family. Yeah. We was all young. Yeah. Everybody running around, everybody together all the time. Cause yeah. We all young and stuff. So then, like you say, my first see my first trip up out of that was to Phoenix. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I was, you know me, yeah. I was trying to do the same thing. You know, yeah. I, I, and then Trix was like that too. He yeah. was just natural like that. But you know me, I'm, as soon as I get there, I'm like, man, we got, what's up? Yeah. We got, I got this at the crib. We gonna yeah. you know what I'm saying? Oh, come man. through, everybody come through. 
his uncle barbecuing at the yep. crib. Everybody coming through, yeah. yeah. bro. Before you knew it, like we was we was out the blocks. Click we was tight. Going, Click I, tight. I mean, listen, you know, like that that union that we had though. Like, I mean, I missed it though. Like, we go to his house for for a cookout, and Joe, the mama, you know, yeah. rest in peace, rest in peace, Miss Diane. You know, yeah. mama Diane. You know, and uh, like in us, like all our, it, it became like a. We have, you know, every team have a core, a, yeah. a few guys that hang more than others. It's just not, yeah. You're just not getting the whole group. But yeah. us three, like, I mean, the us three, like the stuff we did, though, it was like tip for tat. It was yeah. like crazy. Like, I mean, our families immediately niche to each other and love yeah. each other immediately. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, even, even us having our, you know, our bond here, from the yeah. crib, but like it was more, it was, it was more when you got the, when you get the family locked into it, man. It makes yeah. you it makes you feel so much better and like it's a different it's a different kind of love. I mean, you can't. It's kind of hard to sit here and express it, but it's like you really genuinely care and, and respect and love guys, man. Yeah. Like you want used to have Steve that, Nass yeah. out with y'all yeah. too, bro. Steve that team Nash. was the only <laughs> team that I can ever remember playing on where we literally we legit had an open practice. Yeah, like yeah. our practice. You know, you seen Phoenix practice facility before, so yeah. them bleachers right there, like. Our, our family, like our homeboys, everybody used to come sit there, be yeah. eating McDonald's while we practicing. Yeah, yeah. Had, we, we was one of the few places that had stands yeah. though. Like, yeah, right. most, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Just yeah. the, 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 our, our environment was like that. It was, it was, we, we were, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was crazy, dog. Yeah. It's hard to even explain, but like you said, you once you go on other teams, you like, this don't, this ain't happening everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Speaking of that team, that team when Q came there, and, like that year for y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all got a three head monster. You and Maury, Steve mm-hmm. Nash, you got Q, you got Joe a young Joe Johnson. Like that team that year, I think y'all y'all beat us by thirty every time we got <laughs> Maury had like fifty on the what Y'all was kicking everybody. I'm talking about it was like a track meet. We like, oh, we gotta deal with this. They yeah. shoot threes, like shine running everywhere. Yeah. I'm talking about like it's on. Like think about that year, that year when Q was there, and y'all had that core. Cause that was the only year that y'all had that Pacific yeah, five. Yeah, that, that five. Yeah, and that was the year y'all posed the one. That. I mean, it was it was new to the league. It was new yeah. to everybody. You know, it was new to us. You now we 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 uh we all had to buy into it. You know, I think. I, I, anybody, I probably had to make the biggest adjustment to anybody. I think because I'm, I'm, I'm going from a small forward to guarding the, the most Pop, dominant, the most dominant dope. position in the league. That Not the, dope. you know, like nah, that's yeah, where it was. At, at the the time, power yeah, forward, the yeah. most yeah. dominant position in the league. So yeah. that was like, what, but that, that was, was what that, made it yeah, work. Yeah. yeah. Man. Well, as I'm saying though, at first I wasn't okay with it. I was like, dude, I'm only Not, six seven. Think about <laughs> this. Two hundred twenty five pounds. Yeah. Think about this. Yeah. Remember this in the beginning though. Just I'm about to remind you this. Like so, when the season first started, right. As everything was going, we coming in early. We working out. We oh, yeah. hooping, pick up yeah. ball. We hooping, talking yeah. trash, getting at it. Steve talking. Yeah. Talk, I'm talking. Stat talk. So it's like once we start getting the training camp and stuff, it's like who gonna start? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like I'm over there. You know me. You know me. What? Like, huh? I ain't coming off <laughs> nobody's bench. You know what I'm saying? Was it? Did it not get yeah, like that? Because yeah, then it, it, started, it started to look at it like. Well, who is gonna yeah, start? Yeah, Somebody we ain't know the like, starting group because like, everybody know, was new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like okay, you know the certain people. Like, how are we gonna do this? It's yeah. like because it's clear the five players is the best players, but it's yeah. like they don't. That only how it go. No. Yeah. So the first game, Jake Vosku was set to start. Remember, I was pissed. Yeah. I was sitting there like, <laughs> whatever yeah. happened, Jake got in foul trouble. Or something early, quick. I went in. She, we took off. I started the second half and the rest was history. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the rest was history. Yeah, five was like that was the thing and you was the mismatch and to guard them powerful, like you say, at the time. It yeah. don't the most dangerous wasn't. position. Well, yeah. In the West Coast too, the well, most that's, dangerous. That's position. what I'm saying though. Like I, I like for you people really really look at the game for what it is right now and look go back to then when that was the like the, the we actually had big exact Skilled and big and strong, yeah. and actually that's had a presence supposed, inside. Like, supposed to have a yeah. seven footer and a 16, yeah. 6, 11 power. Yeah, yeah. That was every team yeah. Yeah. Was a footer and a six, eleven, yeah, yeah. six nine, six ten dude. So, and then, then back then, our, our centers weren't as skilled as the power forwards were. Right. They yeah. were just mo- mo- uh, big robots. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But I mean, that's no taking away from nobody. But like, they were. I mean, typically. But the power forward was the main spot. Typically, right. the the horse. Yeah. So. So with that being said, though, think about that. Look, look, I'm six seven, two hundred and twenty five, thirty pounds. Yes. I'm on guard, six six seven Tim footer Duncan. <laughs> with that two seventy, two eighty. Like they got me about 40, 50 pounds. Yeah. I'm doing it the whole game, not for no one minute, hey, not no, for no look, thirty seconds, not at all. the whole game. I just yeah. said yeah. this the other day. We was uh, this was about a month, 
mm, a couple weeks ago, we was in the studio, and me and Karan in there, we was, and, and, and Mavs was playing, and he started, I think it was when y'all was sitting on the court side the other night, you, Luca, Luca was out, okay. and now y'all yeah, was sitting me on the court Luca side. and Dirk, yeah. And so, uh, Karan was talking about Dirk, and talking about how tough he is, and this, that, and the third, I was like, bruh, I don't remember nobody really locking him up one-on-one the way Trix did. In the playoffs, bro, we don't win that series if Trix don't. <laughs> I'm talking about <laughs> sitting on it. Huh. Boy, because he game winning me one game. Really? <laughs> <laughs> I got called him. I said, damn it. <laughs> 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 like, he's seven foot. Stanky yeah. leg. I ain't got yeah. I'm talking about look, Stanky I leg. I like this, then did that. Because what I'm telling you, like, what I tell you, People, you know, Amari averaged the most points. Steve obviously mm-hmm. won MVP, yeah. and we were, you know, we were the, we were like the other guys or whatever. But it was like our team was more like a real whole team. Though some yeah. of us was what made us who we were. Yeah. And like he said, to a man, he probably had to sacrifice more than anybody because he had to do more. More, he was probably asked the most of everybody. Like is to, to play that four, and the. To go out there and be a double double machine, bro, and then be on the other end, like that was what really like people like how y'all, you know what I'm saying? Remember how people yeah. said like, man, what y'all do? What y'all just be <laughs> running? We like, nah. like nah, like really, if you just look at our team, it's a cheat code to begin with. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> like this man, him and stat at yeah. the four and the five is a cheat code. Yeah. No, that's crazy. Yeah. And I'm talking about <laughs> they like both rolling. Them, like you could you could truthfully say. Him and Stat were faster than me and Joe. <laughs> Man, for think real, about that. for real. <laughs> but no, but like, think about what I'm saying. Like, but y'all yeah, were faster than me and Joe, and yeah. they had the fours and fives had to keep up with them with Steve flipping that thing up the court. So you know they catching this one dribble. Ah! So, so, so <laughs> every was, time. So that was a crazy part. You look, I mean, if you look at that. I was looking at film the day. Somebody was showing me a breakdown, or whatever. So. Amari never really took the ball out of bounds. <laughs> we did. We took, we, it was either whoever was close ball to our own touch the ground. We but, getting out the net. But he was a, his his job was to run down the middle of the floor and everybody was filling lanes. And then a lot of times I was a trail guy, so yeah. I, I got the trail three more than yeah. Yeah. they was getting the side three. I was getting the trail three or yeah or whatever. Mario so and door. Mari was getting because he was yeah. we basically did a four out one in. That's exactly what it was. Yeah, so it like. they basically all spaced out on the on the, on the perimeter, and Amari just shut the screen roll and rolled to the basket. Somebody sucked in, kicked that bitch out. We swing, swing three, or swing three, <laughs> whatever. That's how exactly. Like swing, swing three, or 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 Steve was, probe until he sees somebody. Until somebody like suck you in. Seen Steve, yeah. Steve, Steve has to yeah. run through yeah. the lane with the yeah. ball and come out and yeah. go through it again, <laughs> <laughs> like yeah. yeah, and then circle around and find yeah. somebody like yeah. Tristan yeah. back door. Somebody yeah. alive. Yeah. Yeah. Like, it used to be crazy, but like you, it was like you said when. That year, that was the only. That was the yeah. year I went the first ever West Western Conference Finals and all that. That was the one year. Well, when we, I felt like as a team, we was rock stars, right? Yeah, yeah. we showed up like yeah. at, the, at the like all right in the beginning of the season. We surprised ourselves. Yeah, we yeah. Was looking around like damn, like we we kicking people, <laughs> man. I was saying, me and Caesar came and we came off All Star winning yeah. all the stuff, man. We was throwing up like rock stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we coming in that joint like, yeah, y'all about to get dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dead <laughs> serious. We was, was, dead serious. We was swag like, look, yeah. fourth quarter come, eight minutes to go, we ice it. <laughs> I promise you. But it's, you look. it's crazy though. We know it's funny to all sick about this here you play it. Like, we can be down. 15 points. Laughing. We're six minutes left. Laughing. Time, we go on a 30 point run in, in the game. It's over. But, yeah. every, but I'm talking <laughs> like about the whole time. Run. The whole it's time. We were so run. arrogant yeah. in our head at the like, time. We'd be looking at each other like, we scrape. Yeah. <laughs> so we're Somebody about to hit one and then we about to turn up. Like, yeah, we just switched. That's all it took. <laughs> <laughs> it we came in some, flurries, though, we dude. Was it, was like, it was like, we was out there like, man. Yeah, yeah. we thought, oh, no. Nah, y'all but about to catch this. But thing. see, I hate, I hate when people say we didn't play defense, though. We played defense. We mm-hmm. had principles. Oh, we locked in when guys, certain guys, we phoned them to to the middle, yeah. and, you know, and we 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 got them out of the ball. Even and that was they don't give us credit for because yeah. individually the mentality was there. Like yeah. we weren't. Yeah, we not gonna fool nobody and say Coach D'Antoni was out there drilling us on defense. That wasn't happening. But at the same time, you yeah, had yeah, dudes yeah, that had pride in that well, mentality. Yeah, like so, he's gone, like, I'm a gone, Stata well, gone, yeah. Joe's a gone. Hold up, you wasn't no gone on defense. <laughs> Come on, man, with that bullshit, bro. This people want real shit on her. Like, not that this, shit. Bro, listen, you no about. lies. It can be told. You know the fans yeah. gonna jump all in the comments. If I got fifty to something, they gonna say it. Hey, I don't wanna hear that shit. <laughs> that team that was like 
the only year that y'all had that team. Yeah, y'all well, got, us, yeah, yes, yeah. That. But then it felt like it was longer than that, don't it? Yeah, it does. It does. And it's he it. Yeah, they tweaked it a little bit. Oh, just a little bit. You know, they got rid of Q, added Kurt Thomas, and them next three years, it just wasn't the same as Joe left that year that too. First yeah. Year. yeah, yeah. Joe, Joe left same because he signed year. his deal that summer. This is, Joe came up. Yeah, and then they ain't, they ain't matching. Yeah, that yeah. team was never the same. Yeah. That year. Do you think if y'all had a couple more years with that five? Oh, I think we could have did it next year. You know, I, I, we felt sure because Joe broke his uh, broke his, his uh, cheekbone, cheekbone, cheekbone. I mean, but uh, but he still came out and played though. Like when it was, t- I know it was tough for him, but like I tell you, that remember how swollen that boy face was when yeah. he came home? Yeah, I mean it was it was crazy how he did it. You know, it was was it orbital? <laughs> it was orbital bone. <laughs> yeah. had to go through his yeah. mouth to like break some. Yeah, and man, mm-hmm. that man face was like nutty I professor on this game. side. I came to the game. Yeah, he yeah. played though, man. Like he came, and he suited back up. Free though. Though. I didn't yeah. know what happened. He came back and suited up though. Like that's a testament to how tough he is. You know. Yeah, I, I I wish we could have played one more year together, you know, um, or at, at least gave us a chance to do it. You know, what I'm saying yeah. I want to really read this out because, like, you one of them players that a lot of what you do don't even come up on the stat sheet. Sometimes mm-hmm. what you bring to a team don't really get praised as much as it's supposed to be. And I want to, but y'all know though, y- real y'all people know, like like know. the, the casual know. the you casual player, but but Your peers you know. It. Yeah, we you know, respect it. You know, we respect it. Coaches know, know, they know. But I wanna, I don't usually pull the paper up. <laughs> <laughs> but I wanna read this out and make sure I read this it out a, right. Is a, Go ahead. First, first player in NBA history His to reach 15,000 points, 10,000 rebounds, 1,000 blocks, and 500 threes, bro. That's legendary, bro. Yeah. That's legendary. People need to know that just in case they didn't know that. You <laughs> Tell got them, that D. right here. Tell them, bro. D. Tell them, D. Because, like, like you one of them players, like, uh, I want Jermaine O'Neal. Like, he don't get enough credit. Like, like you got to give your flowers while you're here and give your flowers now. Yeah. Like, these people need to appreciate respect that. that and know that, like, nah, this man was yeah, the appreciate first him, player man. to do that. And Swiss guys are doing man. it now. But the first player was Sean Mary. I don't know who who named him somebody else was doing that. Well, well, At my well, size, well, no, no, no. No, but you know LeBron can come. He might triple <laughs> yeah, yeah, double that. LeBron is. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Come on, I'm not even. But no, <laughs> no, no. But, but he ain't got ten thousand rebounds yet though. Not, not like, yet. You know what I'm saying? Six seven though. LeBron bigger than me. You right. So like at my size, <laughs> no. You right. Yeah, right. my you size. Right. I, don't, I, I ain't say like, that. Come on. Yeah, yeah. I want to stay on him. <laughs> like. You that dude, man, and that's 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 deep that's respect. What's up. And I that's want, what's up. I definitely wanted to acknowledge that that that's a dope thing. Five hundred threes. But how old is that though? Right now, you know, you got. I mean, update that. I, I think I had. I finished my career with more than that. You did? Yeah, for sure. That's not. That, I was. That was a. That was a. Um, that was a clip that just showed you a, a milestone I hit. At yeah, one point just, in my career, I was just a milestone. One point, in my, that, that ain't what I finished with. Seven hundred and ninety-one total. Ooh, you know okay. what I'm saying? I, I could. Yeah. Seven, you know I mean, I stopped. I didn't shoot them as later on as much as I was in Phoenix because yeah. I, my roles changed. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was just more. I adapted to every team I went to. They need. They need me to sit out there and shoot threes as much as I was in Phoenix. So yeah. that's how. That's the reason I. I probably could have had a lot more than that. I just. I just didn't have to. My throughout the teams I was on. For people to like criticize your jumper, criticize your form. That shit was ugly. Yeah, your shit was too though. It's it okay. It's the, it's it went in. It went in. That's what I'm saying. Ain't no <laughs> criticism of it. This is what it is. Criticize your jumper. Like I tell people all the time, they be trying to. You know, you we players. Yeah, you know, they for ask sure. about their players. Man, Sean Mary can't sh- she and me. Yeah, you can't leave them open. You can't leave me open. <laughs> exactly. But you know what's funny though? I, I it's, it's sarcastically it's so funny now because yeah. don't nobody in the league shoot the same. Nobody. Nobody. Name me two Nobody. people. They can't know. I'm mean, not asked that question. I'm like, you, you asked me something about. I was like, and it, it became a point where like I felt like I was. Be, I got defensive about it early in my career because I'm like, y'all missing what I'm doing on this floor. Like you was talking yeah. about earlier, you're missing what the hell I'm doing on this damn floor. Yeah. So I'm talking about why are you making the, trying to make an issue or, or a story about my fucking shot. Yeah. Look what I'm doing at six seven in this league. Make Ain't nobody doing it. Oh, no, Ain't nobody, free nobody free doing Let it. Me say this, yeah. It was never on the scouting report to leave you open for three. <laughs> I was like, how can everybody be like, never. man, can't sh- what? Like, because no. of the form? Because well, on the scout report, they ain't saying You better lace them up. <laughs> you better, I'm coming to play. You better <laughs> lace them up. Locked up. in. Lace them up. And he was hitting those. That's <laughs> when we like, bro. You was always one of my favorite players because I basically do what you do. Like, let's talk defender talk, you know, because he's it. not a defender. <laughs> you know, you defend. You 
every what? time you say you don't see how every time he say you gotta no, put together no, a compilation. Do Time Sweet, out. Don't do that. We need to put together a compilation of him saying Sweet, I don't, don't do, do that. You got and the guest saying that I do. You who, got video support your theory? Who <laughs> tricks? Q <laughs> a defender. Yeah, he defended. Not I'm not saying he was he a lot down the field, but he he defended when we need to. Everybody got to play. Steve Kerr get in the game. He got to defend somebody. He can't no, just stand out like there that, and shoot though. three. Like, like when we need, like he know when to lock in. I know why I, I, I lock know in who? Lock in. Huh. Who he locking up? Who? I'm not saying you. I'm not, he never been. He, Bro, what you he, talking he, about? I was guarding Kobe. Yeah. So, and what are you talking about? That because the the first defender they put on him probably got a couple of fouls. No, no, like no, no, oh, no. That's the game no. plan. I, I, that's how we start. I don't remember when we play the Spurs, I got Ginobili or Tony Parker. I don't Do I that. don't? I don't remember that, man. You're not the defender. So, you ain't gotta remember so it. So low key, like actually, no, no joke. He he did start on uh on them because because what happened was we uh we put we always put Steve uh in the corner on, on Bruce Bowen. On Bruce Bowen, uh, yeah. So like, yeah, yeah. It's, it it, it got to be something but to then, put him on it. Yeah, but then him and Joe is switching though. We gotta Remember do. We him? gotta do. They ain't switching on me because I'm going. Q is them. not a defender, <laughs> Tricks. I know that's your old teammate. <laughs> But he's just not a defender. <laughs> Q, Q to let him hate me now. <laughs> something, else I, something else I want to touch on that uh, I think is dope and we all got a connection to this. Tim Grover's hoops. Oh, what? The summertime Legendary. hoops. Yes. Like how, Everything how, you see now. How much did that mean to you and your game just to get that type of basketball, that type of workout from the great Tim Grover? You know, um, I love Tim. You know, what I'm saying um, it's it's funny you was thinking about talking about that because uh, I was just with Paul Pierce. Yeah, and remember this is this is that time you're talking about a time where Chicago was the spot everybody came to play ball. Everybody, like, everybody was here. The summertime, Kobe, everybody came here. Everybody, yeah. Paul, you name it, everybody was here. So, you know, we use it, we use it there going at it. And um, I, I ain't gonna, I was I was joking with Paul, but we were sarcastic when we getting ready to pick teams. He was like, "Man, Tricks is on my team." <laughs> like so, <laughs> like it was it was just like it was just funny, but. But everybody was here though, and that 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 that, that family and that that workout that, that game plan we had for us helped help elevate us, help motivate everybody yeah. that during the season though. Like we was here to that that two three weeks, everybody came in time to, to work yeah. out. It, it, it was on the ground. Two courts, hey, man. Yeah. Everybody that was excited. Two courts, man. It was, it, home, man. Boy. It was like, it was <laughs> like, man. It was. That was give me my respect. What? So much shit hey, talking. Man. You earned give it. Me my hey, you weren't late for that run. Yeah, you weren't late. Nobody for that was late. Was I ain't never seen a run where people was coming in late. People was on time. He was not missing that workout. Like that bump was. Yeah, that was a bump, boy. MJ would make a guest appearance here and there. You know what I'm saying? But like. But like that's that was that that was what you what you call like man just like just the love of the game man and, and com- competitive because everybody was from different teams a lot of guys didn't play yeah. with each other I mean I don't think nobody really there who played on the same team bro like, oh, for yeah. me that was like the, like you got everybody yep, like yeah. this like especially after my first year because my first year I ain't get to play a lot yeah so for me when we got to the summer we got back to hoops that yeah. was like. Psh- yeah the shackles is off <laughs> yeah, I'm yeah. about to bust everybody is yeah, like for real was. like oh. You about to get this. I ain't get to play you yet. I was, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. You got man, all built up, huh? I'm in that boy like, oh, man, I can't wait to see everybody. Yeah. I can't wait to see yeah, yeah. everybody. Yeah, the, 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 hoop, the hoops hoop. used to be, boy. You get traded from Phoenix, finally leave Phoenix, and you go to Miami. Like, how was that? You just going to all the warm states. So, like, so <laughs> like, but it's crazy, though, but that was a crazy trade, though, because it happened yeah. to I'm having a... It, <laughs> I'm having a Super Bowl party at the crib. <laughs> <laughs> I, grab, I grab me his dad. I'm, I'm sitting there. We I'm sitting there taking the bed. So I'm gonna, I mean everybody's at the crib. A lot of, a lot of famous celebrities at the crib. We we sitting there. We all sitting on the couches and just all laid out the crib watching the game. And uh, I'm getting a call. I'm like, oh, what, what's going? on? I just step outside. I'm like, oh shit, I didn't got traded. <laughs> <laughs> like really? It's no, like you ready for this? You going to Miami? I'm like, okay. Well, this shit is. Well, it took long enough because I, I that's the that's the season I came out and asked for a trade before the season started. Right? Yeah. So, but it happened on all. That's the worst to get traded in the middle of the season, you know? Because yeah. now Man. you got up and go try just to find. Up and just go. Yeah, you gotta go. You gotta everything, leave everything on sure the The season you're playing the season. You yeah. ain't got time to be going that, out doing that stuff. That was the one yeah. thing that I'm. I was spared. Yeah. I got. I went through a lot, but yeah. I ain't had to do that. Yeah, I was doing the season. Yeah. That's, that's the worst thing. I feel that's, that's, that's one of the things I hate for as part of the business. But I hate for anybody that, especially guys with family, yeah, school and stuff. They that's the worst thing. There, you gotta people be don't talk about that. Yeah, that's, that's one of the hardest things to, for people to adjust to. Yeah, yeah, getting traded on the season, oh, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah. But 
the same time though, I'm sitting there like, uh, I'm going to Miami. I'm going to Miami. Yeah. I got me, and, me and Shaq, me and Big Phil, I got talked with Shaq. So, so I'm going to Miami at the time. Uh, we was the number one team in the league at the time. Yeah. With the best record in the league, yeah. and I'm going from the best record in the league to the worst record in the league at the yeah. time. Even though Miami had just came up winning the championship, they had uh, currently they had the worst record in the league at the time. Yeah. Yeah. Shaq were hurt they, they, they had them injuries and stuff. So I get over there. I mean, it's all love though. Like they know, like and uh, I, I love them, like family Mickey and them. That's they they they, the walk, they 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 welcome me in like a family, and they, it was they it was it was open arms when I got there and stuff. And even though they was losing, it, it didn't feel like a losing a losing uh, losing the organization at all. Nowhere. Yeah. That's one of the best organizations in the league, yeah. and it was a great it was a great 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 time. You know, I um I, I end up going there, and um, what happened was I I was playing with plantar fasciitis, so, so I've been playing with. I, I fight through a lot of pain. I play yeah. with. A lot of, I, I I I was one of those guys who fought through pain. I, if I can walk, I can play. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm, we watch Jordan flu yeah, game. You yeah, know, we gonna, we gonna, yeah, yeah, we gonna get out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get out there. If I can walk, I can play. You know what I'm saying? The only way I ain't uh, gonna walk, go out and play if I can't walk, and I, 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 you got a needle in me, telling yeah. me to sit my ass down. So. <laughs> Um, but for the most part, though, I went over there and I had that, and it was really, really bad, though. Like yeah. I was fighting through it for a long time. They just told me to stop fighting through it and shut it down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And um, but we came out with a new, fresh start that following year, and then we was on the road. You know, I was in um, a good, good place out there, and I, I loved it. And I, I was planning on staying there. Yeah. You know, and we was trying to work out a good deal to take me to the, the uh, take me to the future and be a part of the organization going forward. But you know, it just didn't, didn't work, work out. out just yeah. right. But no hard feelings at all. It was a yeah. great time, and then uh, you know I was fortunate. Enough, I moved to Toronto where I can finish finish that season out. I got traded to All Star Rick again. You know what I'm saying? I was on vacation in, in Dominican at the time. Then, yeah. <laughs> so and then uh, Whoa, so low management, yeah, Dominican low management. Yeah. I need the sunshine. I need you some more saying? sunshine. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Away from Miami, and then uh, yeah, I came back and did the last what 29, 30 games in in, in Toronto, and uh, it, actually Toronto wanted to keep me because I know you're gonna ask me about the next step out there, Toronto. Yeah. Was was a was a great city and great organization as well, but they was losing. I barely yeah. missed you there. Yeah, I just missed you. You you that you, you yeah you got traded at All Star break. Yeah, and I signed after the season. Yeah, that was my last season in New York. The mm-hmm. year that he played half there and half yeah. in Toronto. Yeah, because yeah. they traded. J.O. for you and J.O. Yeah, me and Joe. Yeah, yep. I got that J.O. <laughs> Shout out J.O. Yeah, yeah, yeah. J.O. Yeah, and um, it, it was it was crazy. It happened. I got traded there, and I was actually going to stay in Toronto. They actually offered me um a nice deal. Yeah, and um to go f- building force with Chris Bosh and them up there. But I was like, yeah, I, I I didn't I didn't see them really at the time in my point in my career. I wanted to really want to win a championship. It wasn't about the money. Yeah, like I was like, man, it's time for me to get this chip. I want yeah. something to, to add to this legacy. So I was like, uh. I wouldn't, I wouldn't if you about it. So my agent was like, Dan at the time was like, look, they want to give you this deal. They want to give you a, they want to give you a five year deal. Well, they going to give me four year, fifty million dollars at the time. So like, I was like, I was like, at that time, it's going to put me at ten. It was going to put me at fifteen years when that deal was over. With. Uh, it was four years. It's going to put me at fourteen. I wanted the fifth year. I said, do, do if they do it, just send it to five. I didn't care about the money a year. Yeah. Like send it to five. So they, uh, but uh, I was like, I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, stay unless they gonna really try to make make that push to try to win a championship, yeah, and that wasn't win. that wasn't really they plan. Yeah, not to a certain degree. They yeah. they want to win, but they I, I don't think they foresee themselves winning the championship. You know, in, in, at the time, anytime soon. So I was like, look, J Kid and, and Jed and them called me. It was like doing a free agent time because they called they called as well. It was like, yeah. no, we need your ass in Dallas. Nigga. You got missing yeah. piece. We need yeah. we get your ass in Dallas. Nigga. Like so, Dirk and all them. They called me and Cube and them reached out, and it was like. I was like, come on, I'm like to make it happen. To speak on that, they get, pulled it because I would went there as a free agent, but they have no money. Yeah, so I had to, it had to be a sign and trade. Oh, yeah, man. so I would went there quick because a free agent. I would just sign with Dallas immediately. You get know, get back with kid. Yeah, of course. Get, get back with kid and and the, that year y'all had like the, the championship year, like something clicked. Like, man, you know, I remember. Oh, I'm sorry, not to cut no, you off, but you know. I remember like when y'all beat the Lakers. You know what I'm saying? It was like everybody was shocked. Like, yeah. <laughs> like no, no, they beating their ass every game. <laughs> like, like this ain't no flu. I mean, like, look. <laughs> Bynum then 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 fuck JJ Barrett. <laughs> like, <laughs> them boys was pissed. Like Ryan Ortiz, the clothes yeah. line stuff. Like, them boys was pissed. Y'all beat their ass. Man, listen, <laughs> listen. You got to think about the beginning of the process of that though. My cousin, he's here with me now, Craig. He picked it. He picked us to win. Yeah. Like he said, he looked at the roster in my in my kitchen in the bar. He was like, man. Y'all go out and do what y'all do. Y'all win championship this year, yeah. right? So fast forward, keep going. Preseason, we in Orlando. We go to DC crib. They still got the tattoo guy. Then we sitting there chopping it up, eating the barbecue, doing all little home thing. And Jet 
Steph Curry. I'm getting a trophy tattoo. We win, we win the championship this year. Was the ATM, right there. Was the ATM present? Yeah, yes, the ATM present. Shout out D Steve with the ATM. Getting it tatted on him. I remember he got it tied. Getting it tatted on him right in the DC crib in Orlando. We right, right there. Right here. Yep. Yeah. He was like, we winning the championship this year. Like locked in. I was like, okay, I ain't mad at you. That's what's up. <laughs> so I ain't gonna get that tattoo, but I ain't mad at you. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't gonna go that far, but I'm rolling though. Oh, <laughs> oh. I'm gonna do my part. I'm hey, with you. Pool party. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> you like how I randomly throw that out there, but no. <laughs> but yeah, so we go on through the year. We 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 doing our thing though. We yeah. make. I mean, we go on some great runs that year. Yeah. Every team has their up and down through yeah. the season. You know that. But like we we get to the end of the season, we locked and loaded, man. We ready, and we knew. And I was just telling her, I was every time I do an interview, I'm like, I try to try to, to tell a lot of, a lot of people who interview guys who's not athletes who actually, but experience that 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 mindset of a, a atmosphere in the pro season. Yeah. But it's a mindset, and it's a different kind of feeling that you have when you have you, you can sense it. We sense it as players that that you know that somebody else you can't really express it, but it's something that you feel when you walk in, you looking at your guys, and you look in the locker room and the aura, the aura of the locker room. You ain't gotta really be talking. You ain't gotta be saying that. But you know that swag is there, like you know damn well we finna go, we finna do something special, we do, we finna, and we had that. Look. And and uh, I was like, I was like shit, like like this is a feeling like I ain't had since uh, oh, oh that that run we went in Phoenix, oh, five. yeah, and um, and like I'm like man, dude, we gonna win it, and I was like, I ain't no team better than us, and we yeah. we believe that, and we know that, and regardless of what everybody else said, because you know a lot of the like, reporters and uh, writers was picking. Everybody favored. They had Portland favored against us. Yeah. They had Lakers favored against us. Yeah. They had OKC favored against Straight us. They up. had Miami flavored against us. I'm like, y'all motherfuckers don't know shit about basketball. Yeah. Like, I'm just keeping it with Canon 100. Like, yeah. it's, it's amazing how everybody's stipulating to have this mindset that they know exactly what's going on. Like, you we heard. see, we in these trenches. You don't know what we doing out here. You <laughs> heard. We in, we in these trenches. I mean, it's gutter out there, you know, and, and we know what we believe and we know what we got in us. Yeah. Like, it's up to us to go out here and prove and, and, and make it happen and show y'all so y'all can, we can educate y'all on this. But for the most part right now, we gonna let y'all ride right now. We gonna do this. We gonna handle this. We, got, we in the driver's seat. Straight up. Yeah. Yeah, I get to, y'all get to the championship and this is LeBron them year where they talking about not one, not two. Yeah. This is the yeah. first year they finna yeah. run them on off right quick. Yeah, you know, and they make it there, so it's like everybody's like, nah, Dallas ain't going. Well, you know, and I'm gonna tell you this. I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> I used to say this all the time. I used to say it'll never be a foreign player, the best player on the team and win a championship. I never thought it would be a foreign player. I thought Larry Bird would be the last best player on the team that's, you know, either a white guy or, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, or no. a foreign player or, you know, anything like that. Most of the teams that win, the best player on the team is a, a black guy. Yeah. So I thought it would never happen. Yeah. Was, and then like when you see LeBron. It was an international yeah, superstar. Yeah, international superstar. Yeah. The best player on the team, y'all captain on y'all team, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Leading this team to the championship and the, and the playoffs that he had. Yeah, yeah. yeah he elevated to. The he playoffs that he had. I, I didn't think that I was going to see that, and I thought that was just dope. Yeah. To see that. I mean, listen, you know, you know how we know how we really, we really raised the level of bar during the postseason to win that chip? Me and Dirk was playing one on one. People ain't even getting that. We was playing one on one after after practice, <laughs> like getting ready because he gonna be matched up on smaller guys and or, or athletic guys yeah. just in case you just just in case. But that's how we we took it, that's how we took it to another level though. And yeah. people don't give Dirk credit for playing defense though. Doing our championship run though, he was he was a great team defender. Like I mean like and he did the things that we needed him to do and and was locked in. You know what I'm saying yeah. and. That's that's the that's the part of you know what I'm saying you know when you bind to something and you leave it and you holding each other accountable like and you take it to another level and yeah, I'm a, I gotta commend my man for that that's what you know I, that's, that's what we was doing people don't know that though having Jake Kidd on the floor being our on the court floor general and call, Coach Carlisle making the, the right substitutions and dude like it was it was a it was a flow that you know what I'm saying had like you had to be it be a be a, be a part of the experience and he knew exactly when to play certain guys yeah. come off that bench but people you only go as far as your bench remember that. People yeah. don't understand this championship. The championships runs. It's championships are you don't go as far as your bench gonna take you. That's that's the truth, you know. Because yeah. you, your your starters, yeah, they gonna come carry their weight. You know what I'm saying? But some nights, them the, the, you need that bench and the reserves to come in there and lift uplift you and do them little dirty works and, yeah. and get that grind, get that win for get you. You get going. in a in a playoff run. Yo, in every series, your reserves gonna win one or two games. This is be real. Like you know, that's, that's how it is. Yeah. Your starters ain't gonna win every game. Yeah, uh, come on, like. You know, some series if, if it's a little easier, you know, okay, your your stars can carry it. But if you in the trenches and you in a real tough battle, like your reserves gonna play a big part in you winning them winning that series. How was it 
when you won though. And then, cause you know, we boys. Yeah. And I got to see some of the, you know, scenes huh. at the pool party with the truck. Yo, summertime. Yo, summertime. Ooh. And I already know how your you tour. Go. Your tour. Your tour doing You know, you know, you know you got your yeah. chance to have your time oh, with your the truck. going to be no Kawhi. Yeah, you know, they I'm said Kawhi left his in the room and had a camp or something. No. I seen my dog having a... I, I was like, wait, he didn't, he didn't, he didn't, he mimicking the parade at his crib. What he got going on? <laughs> hey, Listen. big boy. First of all, big boy house, yeah. big boy house all man. day long. Man, big boy pool party looked like something out of Vegas. <laughs> with, and, 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 and look, I was like, where, what's going on, man? How was uh, that, man? Listen, the celebration was epic, <laughs> epic, epic. But like you know. Me and D. Steve had a uh, we had an agreement like like when we win it though we gonna both dye our hair blonde those master trophy though just you know saying yeah, yeah. Yo, we swagging man like we, we don't like you, a golden you win the world boy. championship you could do hey, anything boy, can't tell me shit. Like, shout out Robert like, Towns man champion. they out there looking like golden no. lords boy yeah I'm a champion you can't <laughs> tell me nothing <laughs> nothing but Cuban Cuban even blessed us even more special he was like uh, man how, how he paid like he way at the party he, he made sure everybody got the trophy you when you want the trophy go get it take it with you you know he gave he gave it to D. Steve first. Yeah. So like that was the love that Cuban, you know, like they ain't mean owners like Cuban, you know what I'm saying? Cause, nah, not at all. Cause he's a he, he was a fan first and the owner second though. Like he got that he got this bond that, that there were guys and he loves being in action. He loves being in the thin of things. You oh, know, yeah. right there in the thick of things. You know, <laughs> Blitz in <laughs> Shout out to you Cuban. <laughs> nah, you got you got you gotta love that. Yeah. Man. I mean he was to me, he was one of the first owners that made it made some of these other guys that it okay for them to be that way. Cause like, yeah. when you think about it, when we first started hearing about everything that he was doing for the team, mm -hmm. we was like, man, we need, man, we wish he had a whole lot of man, like, like, hey, going there like, PlayStation, like, like, PlayStation, in a locker, like, 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 all the hit, like, wait, they everybody got their own individual <laughs> one and every one, like, wait, and every one? Yeah. Talking about the plane, like just talking about how he take yeah. the dudes out and do. We was like, man, yeah, dog, man. like, man, like, I go to, I go Listen. to Dallas, like, mm, I go to Dallas, like, you know first man? class, kid, <laughs> first <laughs> class. But you should see a locker room now. Oh, oh my no, god, it's crazy. It's lace it's now. Crazy. Like, I was no, like, man, y'all got this. I'm like, <laughs> man, this, man, y'all, you was shortchanging us. I'll be walking in, man. So look, so look, like, you know, damn. I play in the big three. So you know, shout out to the OG Mike yeah. Finn, the special yeah. assistant Finn. to the man. Yes, yeah. yeah, sir. You know what I'm saying? He just don't nobody really know what he do. He just look cool and quiet all the time and clean <laughs> yes. in the mud. Oh, he always clean. He already making it shirt tucked, making it happen. Tuck in game, mean boy. You know when we go to hoop, boy. Hey, he out there looking just like MJ. OG Finn. Pulled up to the navel, tucked in. Right? I used to say, yeah. hey, why you say when I used to tuck my shirt? I get my Mike Finn on. Mike like, Finn on. My, hey, Finn hooked us up. Uh, let our big three team the power. We uh, we practice at the facility. Yeah, I, yeah. Know, I say, man, it's crazy. Oh yeah, new so joint? that that's new. It's right across the street. That's that because our, our our original practice facility is inside the inside, arena. Inside, yeah. So they moved it across the street. You know, uh, with the offices and stuff. Yeah. It's real. It's dope though. Hey, they man, did a great they job. It's like old a games, bro. old brewery, like an old uh, yeah. beer brewery though. Like, yeah. dude. and it's still part of the beer breweries there. But it's it's dope though. It's two. Side by courts, the gym, the kitchen. It's late. Yeah. It's laced. The, the, yeah. The, the, yeah, the physical therapy yeah. area, everything. It's dope. Like we, we was up and I was like, yo, man, yeah. this man, Mark Cuban, be look. He make you. He make you want to do what you're supposed to do. Like that's how it's supposed to be done. Where you don't want to go nowhere else for nothing. Oh no, 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 no! One stop shop. Like I, I mean, if I was playing now, dude, I would never leave. Right. That's what I'm saying. Like remember how I'll we never used to leave. be getting up at? Like man, I'd be like, like man, I'm about to go use this uh, cryo thing man. real quick. I'm gonna go sit <laughs> this over you. here. The mindset, new mentality right now, totally different than what it was when we came in. Like, yeah, cause yeah. like a lot of teams slowly but surely start getting chefs, having yeah. guys cook meals and stuff. Like you had, you seen a little trickle of it when I was uh, towards the end of my career, yeah. and everybody was building their own, started building what, their own what happened, facilities. That's what I was about to say. Yeah. What happened is you, you know, everybody, you can't be one up in this. Yeah, league. yeah. So yeah. once one person do this or that, here it comes. Cause I remember when we were in New York. Isaiah legit, he made the change. He made that that the whole. Uh, Dress code. Right? Yeah, yeah. Like when we were doing that, and the league office was right there seeing us. I yeah. Seeing every game, they put that in effect. But at the same time, the the teams here, when, when we when Zeke was there, we ain't staying nothing less than a blend. If they had a Mandarin Oriental, we staying in that joint. Yeah. All super big boy five star, not just like all oh, the the uh you know the West and the now. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, boy. Yeah. Zeke and Dolan, we was big boys. Yeah. yeah. That's what's up. On MSG one, uh, we got he got his own man, boy. <laughs> Get on that plane, Wood. Man. I said this is the first time, like you know, what I'm saying, I yeah. LA Phoenix, we had we chartering plan. I yeah. said. I say, look, <laughs> <it's> nice <laughs> up in here. Like, I got wood grain on everything, bro. I'm like, man. 
I was up in there like I ain't never been. We got everything, you know, the Wi Fi, all that, you know, the, all of some of them other planes back in the day. This, you know, 02, 03, it wasn't just like that. Boy, we got to New York. I was like, see, this, this I'm on a new level. <laughs> <laughs> I'm for real, boy. They was first class everything. Boy, I ain't gonna lie to you. I got, I got a fun question for you. Your whole career, if you was to pick four other players from any team that you played for, or any team, that you, any player that you can play with, four other players to play with, what would be your five? I play with. You didn't play with Hall of like, ooh. Man, that's, that's what I'm saying. Though. For me to, I mean, like, that's, 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 that's a good question. That's that's like, like dude, yeah. I'm going to put a squad together to go, I'm going to win it again, though. I got I got D, I got Jason Kidd, and Dirk, and LeBron. Like, I got all five of those guys. And I play with Chris Boss, though. That's a team right there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm locked in right now. We good. <laughs> hey, I know what I want to ask you. Look. Do you literally till this day, Brian Bomb Bomb for voice? Every time I go to Phoenix, I'm going to Yoshi's. Oh, that's my guy. Do you still go to Yoshi's? Yes, every I do. Time? Yes, I do. I still go. I was that's just a there. High five. Yes, sir. Bro. Like, look, bro, y'all so don't he, understand. So I'm in contact with Yoshi's. So I have very yeah. yeah. Look, look. Shout out to Yoshi. The Yoshi's. Yoshi's. <laughs> y'all, I'm if telling you, know y'all in Phoenix, in Phoenix. He got a lot of them now. Back then, it was only like two. 24th Street in the Indian School. Right in the plaza, no, right there. I'm dead. <laughs> 24th Street in the school. Hey, when I'm, Yo you, when I'm telling you, the, yeah. listen, I'm not playing yeah. with you. Yeah. Bomb. Yeah. The, the chicken teriyaki, bro. Yep. You can get it with white or brown rice. It's, it's crazy. <laughs> Make sure you get that egg roll, too. On what camera I'm looking at. Make sure you get that egg hey, roll, look, too. Hey, would you? With that sweet and sour sauce. Hey, <laughs> hey, listen. I promise you. I promise you. Whenever, if we, it don't matter. If yeah. I go to Phoenix, yeah. um. I'm I'm going to Yoshi's. You hear yeah, me? Yeah. Like people be like, "Oh, let's go to yeah. the Houston's." Or nah. the, man, I'm about to shoot. I'm I'm catching me a Uber or a Lyft straight <laughs> over here real quick. I'll be y'all go ahead, slide over there, yeah. come back with my Lyft. <laughs> yeah. Oh, go ahead. I'm good. I'm yeah. talking about fire, bro. And he used to take care of us. Remember, yeah, he used he to bring platters to the team and mm-hmm. stuff like. Cause we had little uh, man. What was my boy name? The first Japanese player ever. Remember oh, you too. Yeah, yeah. Nah. You, you, yeah well, Tabusi, yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yoshi used to come through, bro. He used to take care yeah, of Yeah, he used to bless us, man. We'd be getting on the plane. He'd bring a whole big dunk platter for the for the flight, boy. I'm talking about, I'm not lying to you, bro. Best chicken teriyaki I've ever had. He got this. It is simple, bowl. too. It ain't like it's really fancy. Nah. Enough. It's basically grilled chicken, teriyaki sauce, white and rice. White rice. rice. That's it. And it's Fire. unbelievable. <laughs> simple and easy. I promise you. <laughs> he is not lying. Do you remember the first time they announced that you was gonna be an all star and like how proud and oh yeah like how that moment was? Like, yeah, it's it, like you accomplished. Yeah, yeah, it was it, it was it was special, man. Two thousand three, my first all star, Jordan's last. You know what I'm saying? And um, <laughs> you know, um, I mean, like when you uh, we all have personal goals as players. You know what I'm saying? And of course, all star is one of them. If you if you really you know what I'm saying? You, yeah, you love this and you competing <laughs> yeah, at this game. That's what that's what it is. You want to be all star. Yeah. That's what you work for. That's what you work hard for in the summer times and stuff. But being all star is a testament to yourself and a team as well. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's telling you what you what you, how big of a part of the team success you are and yeah. what you're doing out there to help y'all win. And back then, you know, it was the time you was on a losing team. You ain't making no all star. It's not even a question. Like, yeah. Real talk. like, dude, I, I felt like I, I got snubbed my uh, one of my one one year because you it was uh, it was so so many the OGs still making it because they they was OGs making yeah. it, but but uh, that's no no knock, but it's just the real that's that's the way it was. But like it was a couple years I feel like I should have still been an all star that didn't make it. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It was, but you know it's what it is. You know, but but it is a testament to what you go out and do and how you go out and uh, you you approach this game and uh, how much you dedicate yourself to it. When you came up. Like who's the the players that you pat in your game? Like who's the people that you looked at your favorites? I mean, of course, you know, we, you know, being here, you know, how you can not like Black Jesus? You know, you come on, come know. on, though. Uh, but you know, actually, you know, I was a huge fan of Sky Pippen and Reggie Miller. You know, yeah. Reggie Miller is one of my favorite players. You mm-hmm. know, what I'm saying, uh, you know, uh, it wasn't typically one guy actually try to pat in my game. I just like those guys I really looked up to was my yeah. some of my favorite players growing up. But like, you know, when I when I just. I just want them to just play the game. Though. I just want to play the best way I could. All right, well, who's your favorite five? Not your top five, just your favorite five players. <sighs> Do I? You love? Who's your if I really thought was my favorite five, man, uh, Doctor J, um, man, Magic, man, man, um, man. I love Kareem too, man. And it's like almost, I almost feel like I'm going back. To the OGs for the yeah. game, but it is what it is, you know. And uh, 
you know, um, MJ, of course. And then I'm, I, I got to throw in. <sighs> I don't want to toss, toss up. Oh, uh, but I'm, I'm, man, I, man, I'm not throw no Reggie Miller in there because that's, that's why we're thirty-one. That's yeah, yeah. That's yeah. I, I have to. Yeah, I got, guy. I got a question. Yeah. So, you, you play with some legendary point guards in yeah. your career. Uh huh. So we like we like to go we like to do a game called start bench cut right oh yeah so we gonna say start bench cut J Kid mm. Steve Nash mm. shout out Steve and Stephon Marbury Mm. start bench <laughs> that's yeah. a, that's a, that's a, that's a, like <laughs> first of all time out though first of all before he even do it's no wrong answer because no, all no. three um yeah. legendary like, unbelievable players and so like but that's what I'm saying like. That's crazy, that's man. Right. He, got, he the yeah. perfect player to, to play, play with, with a point, point guard. guard. Like, yeah. man, we talking about so like know he loved that him. in itself is crazy. First, do the start bench and cut. Then I want to ask you just what it feel uh, like. Okay, so like start, oh, man. You know, J Kid, J Kid, man. <laughs> <laughs> I have no choice, man. I have, I have no choice, man. You know, Steph and Steve are, are two different type of guards as well. You know, and uh, both of them are unique. I mean, my first All Stars with Steph. You know, what I'm saying about me, I was three. With Steve, so it's like, it's like <laughs> you know what I'm saying, and um, I, I, yeah, I got I got a uh, I got a bench Steve, and I, I'm sorry I got cut my man of stuff. Oh, I don't even want to, no, but it's like, oh so, man, yeah, part of the game. Oh, somebody got to go. Look, you trying to set me up for the little <laughs> But no, but, but like, like we were similar in the fact like we had super quick second jumps. Yeah. Offensive rebound, you ain't, oh, you ain't in this crew. You ain't in yeah. this crew right here. You just was long. <laughs> you just was long. You dunk on people. Hey, come on, I had second jumps. Nah, you, I didn't say like you ain't had no second jumps. Stop Sean being, stop being disrespectful. But I'm saying jump. like that's what and I'm talking don't about. Don't compare this, your shit to Sean Marion, bro. You like the best second jump motherfucker. I ain't had no like, dope second jump tricks. I wasn't on all the offensive boards, banging and tip dunking. You rebound your ball, man. I led the country in rebounding my freshman year in college. We not talking about all that Q tip. Man, you talking about Conference USA? Ain't nobody boxing out in Conference. USA, That's man. in the country, though. Hey, you only go to conference college, so you USA. Get no, 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 I led the country. Because you went Conference USA. We played against everybody. We played against Duke. What you talking about? That's not Conference USA. Hey, Check man. it. It's Googleable. <laughs> These numbers ain't fake. <laughs> That's the word. Boy. That's Drew Gooden's word. That is a real word. I ask your question. So, like man. I was saying, we in that little fraternity. Stop we got the we, quick bro. second jumps and yeah. all that. We was all on the offensive yeah. glass. He wasn't a part of this. You know what I'm saying? I averaged seven rebounds from two guard in the NBA before. For a season, seven plus. I had a second jump. I don't know Look it up at a two guard. You know what I'm saying? I do this. That's true. You so, did. like I was saying about these rebounders and stuff, like, how do you feel when you look at, at Zion and you hear people say that he comparable to your second jump and how fast, you know what I'm saying, what you doing? What do you think when you see? Because just like you say, you were. Six seven two thirty five. You was an anomaly at your position doing yeah. everything you do. Yeah. He only six six, but he two. 90 yeah, <laughs> or whatever. Like. Look, listen, I'm going to tell you like this. I don't, I don't think his second jump is fast as mine, but he got a fast second jump, and he's <laughs> way bigger than me, and he he jumped higher than me. Yeah, like, bro. I jumped pretty high. I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I ain't going to lie. I mean, like, okay. Some days I had a 40, 41 in Vince Rogo. <laughs> it depends on what day you caught me. But typically, I'm, I was about 37, 38, which is not bad. But, like, that dude... Man, he got, I think he got 50 inches. Young Zion out there. Zion out there. You remember different strokes. I don't know if you remember the gooch. Man, he out there like the gooch man. boy taking everybody lunch money. You seen how he took the yeah. ball from Giannis? Like, oh, yeah. I'm going to pull the shoulder out. Like, 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 <laughs> so, like, speaking of him, though, like, you know, for I, I was telling everybody because everybody's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know if I believe him. I'm like, you watched him play. This is one of the things about his game that people don't really – Understand the game and don't and, and can comprehend to a certain degree. So, when you look at what he did in college, I was I tell everybody like he averaged what he averaged twenty one, twenty two points in college a game last yeah. year somewhere in there. Right yeah. there. So I'm, I'm not knowing that, but he only averaged what two dunks a game, two three dunks a game the yeah. most, three at the most. Yeah, yeah. Where the hell are you getting them other points from? How yeah. you get? How is he scoring? Yeah. So everybody's talking about he can't do this and do that. Might do like I when I look at Zion, I think I compare him more to like a a, a, a Zebo, but with the soft touch around the rim. But with Athlete, with yeah. athlete, athleticism right. and just like yeah. mobility, but like like if he ever loses his uh, loses his hops, 
That's who we should go call, Zebo. <laughs> Straight up. Like, up. Zebo for his size and when he did, and shout out Zebo and you know, enjoying your retirement too, my guy. Zebo, baby. Like, he had the softest touch around the rim and motherfucker was not jumping. <laughs> ain't yeah. never seen Zebo dunk. Whenever you see him dunk, that's I, what I'm saying. I had him a couple times. He like, got up there. Well, like, it was a celebration. He ain't dunking through. Like, <laughs> we was with him. Yeah, I have to say, he, 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 he did it just because Nate messed with him enough yeah, and yeah. said he couldn't. And he finally went up and said, boom. And yeah. right when he did, he was on the right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But he ain't dunking, though. That's what I'm nah. saying, though. But and he don't care. Had either. the finesse touch around the basket so soft. And then look, it was hard to get to him, hard block. He, and look, look, he did it for. For over a decade and yeah, killed it with it, did. like he and like, did. like that. But he had the size kind of comparable to it a little bit. But like, but he had that, that wet ball too. He had that seventeen footer yeah, to knock it down. Shit. Soft touch, <laughs> rainbow. Like shit. that's what I'm hey, saying. This, this why this this is why I know I got to ask because I know you. you know what I'm I, I know <laughs> straight him. up. You was an opulent <laughs> individual, so you know what I'm saying. Like you you talked about it earlier, touched on how you come from you know not having a whole lot, so. When you first got, when you felt like you, I got the bag. Yes, he adjusts the AP. Uh, um, oh, you, yeah, yeah, Mr. Nice Watch. But um, like I'm saying, um, when you first really got the bag, what did you do? Because we all did some, some when we was young and we got the money and we was feeling ourselves. We 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 did. What's that yeah. thing you bought and you was like? We so, don't talk about what's going on right now because the man got about a million <laughs> thousand square feet in Dallas. You hear me? <laughs> this ain't this. You hear me? It, it, <laughs> you hear me? I'm talking about bowling alleys and all type of situations going well, on. Right. Jordan stores as a closet. All this, I, you know, I, the man is opulent. So I, I have to ask him of all people this question. Man, you know, honestly, my first purchase was my mama's house. Mm. Like that, that was that was the first thing I bought. You know, and I, I swagged on, I got her, and I and I didn't get the, I didn't get from my check though. I got it, I got it advanced from my agent. That was all I wanted to do because I knew where money was coming in. First purchase, then. Then I got me a whip. <laughs> of course. Yeah, what, 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 what whip you got? What, what you going to get? My first was Escalade. Oh, 99 that, Escalade. Y'all ain't coming to that 2000, yeah. so I got the see, first body Escalade. It, 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 <laughs> see, this is what a lot of people, that was a lot of people, car, a lot of people may yeah, not know, know that. this about me and my boy. Yeah. We are kindred spirits yeah. in that we only got white whips. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what well, the no, I got I got to change it up now. Since oh, I got, you didn't change it up on me? You got grown. Well, I had no choice. A couple of them I had no choice because when you get old school, you can't have every old school white because certain certain ones I can't, you know what I'm saying, do but uh, see, we was we yeah. we, 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 we white was, on white, baby. We 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 dub cut, we dub magazines, yes. feature boys. Yes, out we in are. Yes, the, we with, are. He had the Porsche 911. I had the only white range in the history at the time. Yeah. You remember that? Yeah. used to come, used to come eggshell white. I had that joint flip flopped, all that real white. They knew when yeah. I was coming through. And it had the real custom chew yeah. on it. Boy. I got we, the same white we, car. We, we, we was white the gang same. then. Like, we so was. Hey, we, hey, we, we, we was. We was. He was a white gang. The, hey, boy, bro, I had the Cubs jersey on. White gang. Had the little Jordan fit on. Yeah. Just killing him, you know what I'm saying? White gang. Do rag on. That was my head waves, you know what I'm saying? You got any new magazines still? Yeah, I do too. Yeah, yeah okay. Just let like you know. You know what I'm saying? Straight up. <laughs> I can see you one if you didn't. Uh, Yo, man, we got to show love. My, the blackest one want to present his. Uh, this is this his is creation. This is a special gift from us, Knuckleheads. The, the special black box oh, yeah. for okay. world champion, Hall of Famer, Sean Marion. Ooh, the Matrix. Swag, so swag. I gotta come on the show, get the gear, man. You supposed to give it to me before that. Hey, man, look. You know, talk to the people behind the cameras about that? all that. Look, the people look, behind you know the that. cameras, they I, got I, all I've been trying to get packaged for the last year and a half. I know we, we, we've been butting heads on trying to get me on the show, but look. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look, Ooh. we got them good sponsors, right? You see, we got we got the the, the Hennessy, the, the they the, the official sponsor for the league. Hey, yes, sir. yes they move, are. Don't move they are. Me. This is, but this one is very special. You know, yeah, SOP. Man. That's that high quality. Oh yeah, but it's also got the custom. You know, talking about knuckleheads. Oh, oh man. Man. okay, okay. I can't drink this then. Yeah, you know, I know you got a lot of classy stuff in your place that you just put up there and don't touch. This you can put up there what you know. What I'm saying. I, know, I, I got you. Hey, listen. I got you. I got you. I don't think I'm playing now. Hey. I ain't gonna put his business out there, but <laughs> hey, my man, hey, all right, okay. Hey, well, we say we all enjoy, we enjoy life, baby. Yeah, the yeah. Matrix, he, yeah, yeah hey. enjoy life. His reality is real. Yes, yeah. sir. <laughs> Knuckleheads, we in here, baby. Yes, sir, man, you know, Let's appreciate see. you coming through, all bro. Day, all, all day, all day, every love. day, baby, all love.